So it's day 31. It's like 9.30 right now. We did a zero here in Rangeley. Um, so looking to get out here about 10 o'clock on the trail and uh, probably get eight miles done today. Um, not gonna push too hard today, but should be pretty easy. Our packs are to weigh a ton because all the food, but uh, we're gonna be leaving range in. Here's, you know, touristy town and they're packed. Everything's busy and packed and uh, getting ready for, I think there's a fireworks show tonight. So uh, let me see if I can get the lake in the background here. Yeah, lake right there. So we stayed at the town and lake motel here. Stayed at a cottage. I showed it in the previous video, but just uh, a little rainy this morning and we're ready to get on the trail and uh, get some miles in and eat some food tonight to get our food bags a little bit lighter so all right i'll check in in a minute we're only a couple miles in right now oh, just taking our time today Well, this is home tonight. Sabbath day pond lean to 9.4 miles a day with a really late start, 10 o'clock. But uh, we do get a lake view today. Uh, it's probably our water source too, but so about to head up to the lean to. So I'm gonna head up there and see what's going on. Good morning, day 32. And, of course, right when I get up there, the leech decides to uh, go underneath the stick, but... <laughs> uh, <coughs> yep, oh, there he is, right there. See that right there? That's a leech. Yep. Alright, um... Yeah, day 32, at 8.4 miles to do today. Uh, some uphill at the end. Uh, that's jacked up, of course. But uh, it's a pretty good stay here. The lake, pretty much. There we go. So, I lean to is a little bit back there, but uh, pretty good campsite last night. Um, I heard a boat come in pretty late too. I don't know what they were doing. But uh, look at this. You just plop a house right there. Boom. You got your own lake. So, that's the plan today. 8.4. Uh, we're about to get on the road right now. I think it's a little after 7. 7.15 or something like that. Um, dealing with some Achilles issues that are getting tight. Especially the uphill and then it tightens up and then it makes it really rough to even do anything after that. So We'll see how that acts today Maybe I won't sit down as much during the day and then uh, Try to keep it loose or something. I don't know. We'll see So all right, I'll check in in a little bit. I didn't look A 50x zoom to my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh man. Frosty and I just came across some trail magic here. We had a we split a PB and J that was in there, so uh, we signed the logbook. So uh, that hit the spot. <laughs> yeah. We're uh, about to head up two miles uh, to the mountain. So thank you, Greg and Jerry. Mm -hmm. Well, we made it up to Bemis Mountain, second peak, twenty nine fifteen. It doesn't seem high, but both Frosty and I agree that. This is the worst 3K we've done. <laughs> the hardest 3K, I guess, is the best way of saying it. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in in there a little bit. Definitely the longest 3K we've done. I guess we're going over Bemis Mountain probably tomorrow, main peak. So hopefully it's clear and we get some better, what, some more views tomorrow. There's home tonight. All right, let's get over there. In my tent for the night, did 8.3 miles a day. Went over Bemis Mountain, second, Bemis Second Mountain. Um, tomorrow we got Bemis Mountain in the morning, and uh, I think it's like an eight point something mile day tomorrow as well, which we got reservations at, I um, can't remember the name of the place, but, so we'll go into Andover tomorrow, hike eight miles going to Andover, and then we have it booked for two nights come out the second day slack pack it and then we'll come back to the same place that night and then we'll go back out and then uh, we should be very close to Gorham I think it's Gorham get out of Maine <laughs> looking forward to getting out of Maine so it's like 7 o'clock right now somebody asked um, you know, what time I get in my tent I get in here like 6 or 7 o'clock at night um, so hike for midnight is nine o'clock at night. It's still, it's just about dark at nine, but that's hike for midnight. Everybody's asleep normally by nine. But I get in here six, seven o'clock, sometimes even earlier, and uh, just uh, start editing videos, get all the camp chores, tent chores done, and uh, and then try to get as much sleep and rest as I can. So. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and get it ready for upload. I'm going to actually combine two days because there wasn't much going on yesterday. But uh, So if anybody else has any questions, let me know. And we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye.